Hey guys, welcome back. So we are doing part two of my Ipsy Generation Beauty Haul and I also decided to sprinkle in a few of the other PR goodies that I got just because I wanted to share them with you guys because maybe you're interested, I don't know. Um, if this is your very first time here, why don't you go ahead and subscribe if you like beauty videos because I do upload Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And uh, yeah, I'm sure you're bound to find something on my channel that you like. And if you love hauls, give this a thumbs up. And then let's go ahead and get started because, girl, we got a lot of products that we got to talk about. So, the first item, these are the new, uh, they're like makeup brush cleansing wipes from Luxie. And they sent me a bunch here. Got like five of them here. And they are supposed to, or they're called the Quick Wipes. And basically they're supposed to be like cleansing wipes for your brush so that you can switch out different colors without having to change brushes, you know what I mean? If you've got a blending brush that you want to clean off really quickly, these are supposed to be really good for that. Um, they did mention that they were most likely going to sell them in like a pack of like 10 to 15 wipes. So I don't know. I mean, I'm going to have to test these out. I'm pretty curious to see how these work because if I can use less brushes while I'm getting ready you know hey that's gonna be amazing moving on we've got these two items here from Tarte and uh, I think you guys have seen I got one another one in my part one this is the Tartiste Pro Glow Kit and then they also included <laughs> this is upside down they also included this really cute fan brush that's got like blue to gold kind of like ombre if you guys can see what I mean super cute what is this brush called it's just called a regular fan brush um but you know these kind of go together this one is definitely going to go in the giveaway pile because I already have my own that is well loved and used so I want to pass on the love to you guys then here we've got the CoverGirl Total Tease Mascara and it's really cool it's got a double sided um, brush and I guess one of the sides is supposed to be for like lifting up your lashes which Lord knows my lashes need so I definitely want to try this out it's supposed to create full long and refined lashes and uh, it's supposed to amplify volume from root to tip so all right i'm digging that let me know if any of these products you guys want me to do like a review on i always want to hear your thoughts this little guy here oh this is cool this is from m cosmetics and it is their illustrative eyeliner felt tip um up m cosmetics definitely has like a bunch of different liners and i like this one the best because it was like the blackest black liner but they've got one for beginners that's really easy to use they've got this one the felt tip and they got like a fatty one as well and look at the packaging it's just like really cute kind of minimalist I love what Michelle Fawn was going for and it's got that regular like felt tip as you guys can see right there I'm really excited for this one all right moving on oh cool <laughs> we've got another eyeliner pen this one is from Jouer and I didn't even know they had um, liquid liner pens let's see this and oh <laughs> it's not even a liquid liner it's like a pencil that you can smudge and what is it called the slim creme eyeliner and this it looks just looks like it's like a regular black like if I can show you guys it glides on super super smooth and I bet it will blend out really nicely it's not like a black 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 it's like a smoky like gray black if that makes any sense um, and but I like it I mean psh, shoot you can never have enough eyeliners by the way you guys so I just want to talk to you guys about my lip combo that I'm wearing I'm wearing Jouer Noisette and skinny dip topper on top of that and <laughs> I usually don't wear like light lips because they just make my lips look super 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 big and I think when you grow up having big lips you're not always like into that look but let me know what you guys think about it I mean if they don't look bad to other people then I might as well just start wearing them right <laughs> so this one here this is the benefit cosmetics high brow pencil I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like I already have one of these so this might go in the giveaway pile if it'll come out so this is the high brow and basically I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like it's just like a 
peachy it's like a peachy kind of cream colored liner I have this and I think for me I have to blend this with my concealer but this is really good when you want that ultra like defined brow look because it just highlights right under there and it makes your brows look really really sharp which hey I mean some of us need you know what I mean because some of us our brows are really messy sometimes which hey I'm included you know but this is really 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 nice and it's kind of like a matte finish so it's not going to be shimmery or anything mm. ah. Okay, so this is the Milani Golden Light Spotlight. It's like a drugstore highlighter. And what I love is I went to the NYX booth. And what I love is I went to the Milani booth and they were talking about how you can use some of these shades right here as um, eyeshadow. And I never thought of that. So since I already have one of these, this is also going to go to the giveaway pile, but it is a really, really good drugstore find. The highlight is just like so beautiful, and these two shades can be used as blush or eyeshadow or inner corner highlight. Like there's just so many different uses for that, and I love that. This here is the Illuminating Rose and... Oh, <laughs> I can't even talk. This here is the Illuminating Rosehip and Cranberry Face Oil, and it also has pumpkin seed oil in it and sea buckthorn. I actually got two of these, and I can't remember if I showed you guys. I love face oils. They just, like, do wonders for my skin, and I can never have enough of this, so I'm super excited. It's deeply hydrating and it's got a bunch of plant botanicals and essential oils and antioxidants and fatty acids to plump up that skin because guys as we get older that skin just has a hard time bouncing back you know what i mean so we gotta show it some love Ooh, this here is from pure it's their mineral glow so so this is the shade of their mineral glow i don't know if it'll match me i mean maybe it will i'll have to try it um but let me see let me swatch it it looks like it would be yes definitely comparable for like my highlighted areas this is the shade they don't even really have a shade on here it just says mineral glow so yeah <laughs> there we go so i've got some lippies here uh these are the cover girl um, melted pout lippies and we got like a crazy pink color called evangelical and this brown color which is so right up my alley this is called celebrity and then we've got another pink color here called gelful I kind of one of them fell I kind of want to try and see what the brown one looks like because that's something that I would definitely wear. And I love that it's got like a kind of doe foot applicator kind of thing going on here. Ooh. You guys see that? Like, it actually looks really beautiful. I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I do, but this is like one of the nude type colors that I usually go for. Ugh. Like, look at that. Look at that. It's beautiful. So I can't wait to try this out. I might give some of these lighter colors away just because, you know, the probability of me actually wearing it is not that high. Ooh, another lippy here. This is from Ciate. It's called Liquid Velvet. But, I mean, look at how light that is. I don't know if I'll actually wear this, but it is really pretty. I'll just show you guys. It's like a normal, like peachy kind of shade maybe I will I might mix it with some brown you know could it hurt could it hurt and then I also got these cool little Milani correcting cream so they're or actually they're primers sorry my bad their face primers feel so smooth I got to test some of them out oh my gosh so these ones are for prime and correct and these are more for like if you've got zits and stuff like red areas on your face these are gonna be really good and these other ones are more for like lighter complexions. So again, this might go in the giveaway pile or to a friend or something like that. Um, but those are really cool. This thing here is from Note and it's their Hydra Color Lip Gloss. Ooh, and it's got argan oil and cocoa butter. As fall is right around that corner, you guys, you know our lips are gonna get hella dry. So this is the color, very hot pinky corally and it actually looks really really beautiful I don't know if I'm gonna wear this because it's 
a little too bold for me but I'm gonna keep it around to just kind of like swatch and play with and I also like to combine my lip combo colors so you know I'll, I'll find a use for it or I'll give it to my sister or something. Ooh, I also got another one of the Ciate Fierce Flicks so this one will be going into the giveaway pile. Ooh, another color of the Ciate Liquid Velvet. Oh, this is like right up my alley. This beautiful like pinky. I feel like pinks are like really 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 in this season or something. I mean does anybody else feel that way? Let me know in the comments because I feel like that's all I've been seeing. Either pinks are like really crazy like teal like blue black you know what I mean. <laughs> Moving on here Tattoo Junkie if you guys can see here. They are so cute. They gave us a uh, what is it like a Gen Beauty survival kind of kit and in here it's so cute. They've got like water. They also had a whole bag of those Neutrogena makeup wipes which I mean I can never use enough wipes uh, but I kind of used that already. They gave us gum, they gave us hand sanitizer, they're just like really cute. They also gave um, a ha hair band like thing. They gave two masks, or sorry, one mask. So cute. It's a nourishing avocado mask. And it's a sheet mask. Oh, thank God. I might use this tonight. I'm excited. And then they also gave a little handout of all of their shades. And I can't wait to get my hands on their shades. They just look so fun. And they also come with those little glitter things that you can put on your lips too. So I can't wait. I'm excited. Next up here, this is from Physician. Oh, <laughs> it's from Physician's Formula. And it's their bronze booster so it's a highlighting and contour palette but honestly all of these shades here are highlighting shades and I'm going to take it out and show you guys what it looks like so first of all the packaging is really cute I've honestly never really used anything Oop. never used anything from physicians formula but look at this like the actual ooh the pigmentation is actually really on point. If you guys can see that on my fingers right here. Oh man, like it actually looks really, really beautiful. Um, but there's nothing bronzy about it for me. Like it's all just different highlighters slash different eyeshadows for me. So I'm definitely going to keep this around because I can see myself like using this in a really cool way. Next up here, I've also got another one of those uh, Derma E Illuminating Rose Hip and Cranberry Face Oils. Really, really, really exciting. Love this. Now, I got a bunch, like a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of goodies from the Absolute New York Company, and I really love their products. Uh, I actually used their Fluid Gel um, eyeshadow, or Fluid Eyeshadow, that's what it's called, <laughs> on my lids, and they just, it just rocks, like I love it. So these are their lip mousses in all these different shades here. So this, if I can grab them, <laughs> it's kind of hard. Okay, so this color here is Royals. Then we've got Femme Fatale, Cheerleader, uh, Pin Up, Voodoo, and Dolly. So I cannot wait to try these out. Um, they're supposed to be full coverage lip cream, so obviously we're not getting them matte. I can't wait. Let me just take one of them out for you guys so you can see. So when you take it out, this is what they look like. And, and the applicator is cool. I actually saw this kind of applicator from Maybelline and look, like that's a vibrant red. Ooh. It's definitely like full coverage because it's covering up my little scar on my hand. Really, really, really beautiful. Again, this is the shade Voodoo. And it's it says, oh, one more thing, guys. It has a glossy stain. Now, the other lip products that they sent, they're called the Perfect Pair. And uh, there are three different colors, if I'll find the names. It's, uh, okay, Hollywood over here, Old Hollywood, sorry, Lush Lilac in the middle, and then Candied Apple. And let me take them out for you guys. Now this is super cool. I wonder, what is it? Uh, it just says it's a lip duo, but I wanna know. It looks like this side is like a liner. 
Very cool. What's on the other side? Oh, and this side is like more of a lipstick, which I love. I wish more lipsticks came with like a lip liner on one end and a lip cream kind of thing on the other. These are the other two colors here. Because don't you think that would be easier than you wouldn't have to think, ooh, do I have a liner that matches that? You know what I mean? Then I've got two goodies from Ofra. Uh, let's see. So this beautiful, beautiful red here is called Atlantic City. And this kind of mauve pink is called Santa Ana, which, I mean, I love that because I'm, you know, from LA and I know where Santa Ana is, <laughs> kind of like that. So these two colors are really beautiful. I'm falling in love with the Ofra formula. There's something about it. It's so comfortable and just pigmented at the same time, so I can't wait to try these. I also got some goodies from Sue AE. They're like a Korean like mask company and I tried their charcoal bubble mask like earlier this week and it was so much fun. I can't even tell you guys. It came in a little pouch and you kind of like rub the liquid inside before you opened it and then you put it on and it was like charcoal paste and then it started to bubble. So I can't wait to try these. This first one is their Purifying Brightening Peeling Gel. So it's supposed to refine and clarify. By the way, you guys, you can find all of these in Walmart and Target. So they're really, really affordable. This one here is their Purifying Black Charcoal Mask. This one is an actual sheet mask, so I'm excited about this. I love myself some sheet masks. This is the Donkey Gel Mask, and I've actually tried the Sleeping Mask version of this, which was amazing. It makes your skin feel so soft. It calms any breakouts that you have on your skin, because like, I was having a really rough time because, you know, I was traveling and stuff, and my skin has just not been happy. Um, but the Donkey Gel Sleeping Mask did really, really well. This one here is the Acai Berry Revitalizing Sleeping Mask. And it's a restorative overnight mask and it's got lots of antioxidants. So I can't wait to try this bad boy. Then we've got the Collagen Hydrogel Lip Patch. And I'm hoping that this is super moisturizing. I can see there's already like a ton of like serum stuff in here. But I'm wondering when you use these things, like do you have to lay down when you use them? Because I feel like it's just gonna like fall off, especially my lips too, so <laughs> I don't know. Then I've also got another one of the Derma E Radiance Toner. I've been using this like ever since I got back from, uh, you know, Gen Beauty and my skin loves this stuff so I'm so happy that I have a backup now. Ooh, also I've got this cute little lipstick from the company Koki and it's called the Kissable Liquid Lipstick in the shade Suede. Um, what I love is this company is really like inclusive as far as shades for women of color. I got to talk to one of the brand representatives and you know I was talking to her about how a lot of you know, more affordable brands have a hard time accommodating our, you know, skin tone and the different undertones that we have and they, I saw, like, they actually had a really good selection and um, I hope that I get to try them out one day, but I'm really excited about their lip colors. And this shade here, ooh, this is more of like a liquid lipstick and, oh gosh, I swatched too far, but yeah. So there you go. Um, really nice really cool like standard like brown the formula feels like it's not super drying so i love that moving on i've got more goodies from milani first of all you guys how cute is this little purse that they sent like it's it's freaking adorable like take a look at it it's gorgeous and you know, I feel like I can actually wear this when I go out or date night because, I mean, honestly, I'm not going out. <laughs> but they sent some goodies. So these are their Color Harmony palette. So I already have the bronze burst, so that one's going to go in a giveaway so somebody else can enjoy it. Uh, this one here is the Pink Play. So this is more of like a trio of little like blushes this next one here is called coral beams so it's got a like golden highlighter over here and then the rest are blush colors really cute and then but last but not least here we've also got berry rays so 
it's another one of the blush um they look this one's like a lighter version of the first one i showed you the zero one pink play but i'm actually wearing the one from the bronze burst little palette and it's a really cute blush like i love it they also sent me a really cute uh like hot well not hot pink but you know light pink little uh a more matte lip cream yay so now I get to show you guys some goodies that I got from pure cosmetics they were nice enough like incredibly incredibly nice to send me some stuff which I'm really surprised cuz like I'm like <laughs> little old me like you know um, but they are so so nice so this first one is called the pure cosmetics eye polish and what it is is in the shade satin and they give you like a little like what is this I don't know a little like it's not even like an eyeshadow brush it's just like silicone -y, and it lays the pigment down so you can use this as an eye primer or you can top this on top of some eyeshadow and that would give it more of like a wet kind of like vibrant look if that makes sense and I can't wait to try this out ooh so I'm super excited about this this is the pure cosmetics hydra gel lift and I love me some eye creams and I just finished some of my favorite ones so you know I'm like oh I gotta try something new now <laughs> I can't go back to the same like this whole thing it just looks like so creamy and like like it just goes on so smooth it doesn't really smell like much. You can achieve the perfect eye makeup application with this hydrating all-purpose cooling eye primer. Oh, cool. So this is like a primer before the makeup, not a night eye cream. And it smooths the skin for better wear throughout the day. And I'm sure we've all at some point or maybe constantly suffered from dry under eyes, which makes your concealer and your under eye area just look like horrible and ages you. <laughs> it just makes you look older than you look probably, you know what I mean? So it's really nice to have something like this. I can't wait to try this out. Ooh, maybe we'll do like a review on it. Let me know what you guys think. Then here we've got the Pure Minerals 4-in-1 Pressed Mineral Makeup with SPF in it and like just check out the packaging like it just looks so beautiful I love that it's got this like faux glass I don't think it's real glass but you know and then when you open it here this looks a lot lighter on camera but it's probably going to be perfect for like my under eyes or my highlighted areas it's so nice and like the packaging is like I said before very luxurious this is the shade medium dark they also sent ooh, I almost dropped that they also sent the pure fully charged mascara let me know if you guys have tried this I want to know what you think about this if it's good if it's worth it if it gives you that va va voom effect you know and last but not least i also got this from ofra uh it was hiding and it's called mocha look at this little shade here i'm like running out of pieces to swatch let's see i still got some room here Ooh, my happy place you guys i love playing with new makeup so this is mocha here contrary to what you might think you might think oh mocha like brown right Nuh uh okay it's more of like Anastasia Beverly Hills like fudge that kind of color if you know what I'm talking about but it's more of like a pinky mauve with tiny hints of brown in there if that makes sense okay so you guys I think that is it for all the goodies that I got PR and from Gen Beauty which is awesome but also I'm like oh crap now I gotta organize everything eee! <laughs> That part is uh, the part that sucks, organizing the makeup. <laughs> but let me know what you guys really want me to review. I'm all down for that kind of stuff. And let me know um, if you guys have any video suggestions. I know that somebody suggested they wanted me to do like a Q&A. So if you have any questions for me, feel free to leave them down in the comments. If I get enough questions, then I'll do one. Um, or, you know, if you have a better suggestion, then <laughs> let me know. All right, well, I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye!